will be Margaret Johnson Bales. A dress with the petticoat underneath it, you know, and Sunday shoes. So when you see me running, all you see was legs in the petticoat going down the, down the track. I was all over the place, you know. They didn't tell me I had to stay in my lane and didn't explain anything, just run. So that's what I did. I was all over the place. Willie White, she was a hurdler and a, she was a nurse. And she says, no. She said, this baby needs to go to the hospital. She needs to go now. And so she made them take me to the uh, commissary at the Olympic Village. And that's when they told me I had pneumonia. Everything I trained for, weight, muscle, everything was gone. So when I got out, I couldn't get the starts right. I was frustrated. Nobody wanted to help me, you know. And so all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Wendy shows up. Now, how she got in the Olympic Village, I don't know. <laughs> but she was my saving grace because she was there. I was crying. She said, OK, gather yourself together. We're going to get through this. So I said, OK. The one race that I wanted to win the most was the 100. But I just didn't have it. I got fifth, but that was devastating to me, really devastating. So my only saving grace was, OK, when he said, OK, Margaret, don't harp on that. Be fifth fastest in the world, so don't even worry about that. You need to concentrate on the relay because you have three other people depending on you. I said, OK. And we did that and got a world's record. Presenting the award, the Executive Director of the NSAF, Jim Spear. First of all, I want to thank everybody and the committee. Okay. I would like to thank the committee for this award. This award means a little bit more to me than all the other awards I've ever gotten because it was from high school. My whole track career was in high school. I started running at age nine. I was supposed to be going to the movies, ended up in, watching some kids in a field and I decided to go over there to see what they were doing. And I entered into the 100 and 200 in a dress and Sunday shoes. <laughs> Just so happened I won. So all you seen was legs, petty, well, petticoats, and me running all over the place. So after that, this lady walked up to me and she says, do you have a coach? Now, at age nine, I've never seen anything. And I asked her, what was that? And she <laughs> explained to me what a coach was. And I told her no. So she ended up talking to my mother. And my mother agreed. And she ended up uh, being my coach. And that was Wendy Jerome. Without Wendy, I would have never made it. Because um, girls wasn't recognized for athletics, especially in track. So my whole career, I had to um, run against the boys for competition because there wasn't no girls. So I still hold, 60 late, 50, 60 years later, I still hold all the, all the records in, the, in Oregon for women in the 100 and the 200. Thank you.